So you're interested in maybe moving to Kansas City and trying to figure out what this city is all about. Hi, I'm Rachel the Realtor. I'm a local real estate agent licensed on both sides of the state line, and I am happy to be your tour guide. I am here to give you the scoop on all things Kansas City, and today we are talking about Kansas City culture, basically. What is the vibe in Kansas City? What's the lifestyle? We're going to dive into various neighborhoods and communities, talk about our cuisine, our food scene here, talk about our arts and entertainment options, and then outdoor recreation and nature as well. So hang with me. I'm excited to kind of to walk you through a day in the life of a typical Kansas Cityan. Let's jump in. I think one of the most interesting and coolest parts about Kansas City is our wide variety of neighborhoods, cities, suburbs, places to live. We have such a diverse like scope of lifestyle of living here. Everything from living in a high rise downtown to living on a farm with acreage with animals, just, you know, a 30 minute drive from downtown and everything in between is right at your fingertips here in Kansas City. Some really popular neighborhoods um, that you'll want to know the name of are the Crossroads Arts District is the downtown neighborhood that's almost exclusively condos, but it's a great place to live and a great place to visit even if you don't live in the neighborhood. Restaurants, bars, art studios, all of that good stuff. A suburb that a lot of people love is Overland Park, Kansas. And I actually have an entire video dedicated to Overland Park that you'll want to go check out. But it's kind of like peak suburbia. You know, like when you think of like a great suburb, Overland Park has it all, like the perfectly gridded streets that are numbered in a way that makes sense. All of the shopping that you could ever want, nationally rated schools, all that is all Overland Park has to offer. On the Missouri side, the Northland has kind of a mixture of both, but I really love like North Kansas City is like a really up and coming area that ha is developing so quick. They have condos, really cute like old houses, and then there's newer, newer build neighborhoods that are within reach there as well. So that's just a little sampling to give you a little taste of every kind of neighborhood that we have to offer here in Kansas City. But it's super cool because each one has its own vibe and kind of its own personality almost, especially when you're talking KCMO proper and like downtown from like neighborhood to neighborhood that are next to each other can have a completely different vibe. You know, a good example is Brookside and Waldo, but up right next to each other. But Brookside is more expensive and it's just a little more buttoned up. And then Waldo's like the cool aunt that comes to Christmas with pink hair, you know, <laughs> if it was a neighborhood. So really fun to kind of find a neighborhood that makes sense for your personality, your vibe, your lifestyle, um, and what you like here in Kansas City. This next one is a topic that Kansas Cityans love and it is food. I think that pretty much everyone knows that Kansas City is famous for barbecue, which is no joke. I mean, if you move to Kansas City, I'm telling you right now, you have to have your favorite barbecue spot and you have to be able to defend why that's your favorite spot because you will be questioned. And for most of us, we don't just have one favorite barbecue spot. We have one for ribs, one for beans, one for pork. You know, you like have a different spot for everything. But barbecue here is like literally a part of our culture and our lifestyle. But I think our food scene in general is completely underrated because we have so much more to offer than just barbecue. Literally about, I think, any international cuisine you could wish for, we have it here in some capacity. Actually, I actually have a really cool um, immigrant community here. And a lot of people that come here and like bring their culture and their food to Kansas City. It's actually kind of a melting pot in terms of cuisine, which is awesome. Uh, also like lots of home style cooking, but then you'll have like the home style cooking that like, you know, they serve the food on styrofoam plates, home style cooking. And then you'll have like the cool home style cooking that like takes fried chicken and makes it like bougie somehow. And then everything in between. So truly an amazing food scene here in Kansas City. One of the great weeks of the year is Kansas City Restaurant Week, which happens in January. And all of the restaurants have a set price point. Not all, but like all the participating restaurants, there's a lot of them, <clears throat> have a set price point and they have a menu. So you can go have like really fancy, nice dinner for a more affordable price point. And that is a way to get to taste different restaurants that you may not have been able to go to otherwise. Casey also has a phenomenal arts and entertainment scene. I think a lot of people, when they think of Kansas City, think of just looks like slice of Wonder Bread, like boring, Midwest, kind of meat and potatoes kind of city. And definitely we're that sometimes. But we also have some really cool people that live here. I'm not one of them, but I love all the things that the cool people are doing. Uh, just some high notes of our arts entertainment scene. Um, we have a gorgeous performing arts center called the Kaufman Center. 
it looks like the Sydney Opera House and going to an event there is such an experience. The building is just so pretty. The performers are so talented. They, some of them are local and sometimes they bring in traveling shows. They have the Kansas City Opera, the Kansas City Symphony, the Kansas City Ballet. I'm sure I'm missing some. And then all the traveling shows come into town as well. So that is a really cool experience. Great for like a fancier date night or uh, trying to let the kids dress up, feel some, feel fancy and do something. It's a really cool spot. And then like kind of a totally different vibe that you can see from the Kauffman Center is First Friday's Art Walk in the Crossroads Arts District. Um, you'll walk into like Basically, you walk under an open garage door into a warehouse and you see all this incredible art and the artists are like just there hanging out. It's super accessible, a lot of like really affordable art. Um, some of it's higher end. They have some more higher end art studios in there too, but it's like such a fun energy and like tons and tons of people on the first Fridays in the summer. It's Art Walk. Another entertainment thing that you can do here is you can catch a Broadway show, like a high quality Broadway show um, at the Kid City Music Hall. They have a series every summer. Um, Kaufman Center that I just mentioned sometimes has those same shows. Starlight Theater is located in the Swope Park complex by the zoo. All of those venues have like large scale musical productions, which is super fun. Especially if you have like a favorite musical, odds are it's going to come to town once every couple of years and you get to go see it right here in Kansas City. And I would, of course, be totally remiss to not mention the music scene in Kansas City. We are famous for jazz. Kansas City was a huge part of the jazz culture and jazz scene starting in America. And some of those jazz clubs are still in existence today and you can go to them. We also have a good number of speakeasies, so like kind of underground bars where you can hear jazz or like any kind of music, like lots of live music happening here all the time. I have, uh, I'm going to say we have like four to five, four to six, like solid smaller concert venues where it's like, you know, 5,000 people or so to watch a show. And those are awesome because the tickets are usually relatively affordable and it's super intimate. Like you feel like you're right there with the artists and sometimes they get some pretty big names in there as well. So really tons to do on the arts and entertainment scene here in Kansas City. The last thing that is a big part of Kansas City culture and lifestyle is outdoor recreation and nature, which I will admit we're not like the best in the country at this, but we do have it. And it is a big part of like our day-to-day -day lives here. We have a, quite a few areas with like great walking and running trails there. You'll, when you drive around the city, you'll just see them. And they're always absolutely packed with people, especially if you catch a nice day in the winter where it's been cold and rainy. And then we, the sun comes out one day. It is like, everyone is suddenly like, you know what I am? I am a jogger. And now I am going to go jog. <laughs> Lots of parks, different parts of the city invest more in park systems. I think like Roland Park and Prairie Village have like, have to have like a park for every 10 kids. When you drive through those areas, it is like park, 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 and the most like beautiful parks ever. But so it varies throughout the city um, in terms of like how great the parks are, like how many there are, but there are a lot of parks and not just playground parks. Like there's parks, like Loose Park is a really famous one that has just like a lot of green space where people will bring a blanket and hang out and picnic. Um, and I know that Kansas City is working on a new park that will be right kind of in the heart of downtown that will be more green space as well. So we do have a lot of parks that people enjoy going to, whether it be like the playground park or more of just like the lounging, enjoying the fresh air kind of park. Dog parks are a big part of our culture here too. Lots of dog parks. We have a really cool bar called Bar K that is in up north of the river. And it is literally a dog park and a bar, both combined. So your dog can play and you can have a beverage and socialize. So that's a cool spot to go. And then lake life is a big part of Kansas City culture as well. <clears throat> we have a good number of lakes like right around the metro, several of which are private. So you have to own a house on them to use the lake. And when I say culture... Man, those communities are tight and like they are lake people. That is all they do. But we also have some more, some public lakes like Blue Springs Lake, Lake of Jacomo, Smithville Lake. There's lakes all around the city where people can launch a boat, launch a jet ski, rent a boat, rent a jet ski, kayak, paddleboard, all that good stuff. And then a lot of people are weekend lake people in Kansas City too. There's a lot of people that have a second home or know someone that has a second home or rent a lot at Lake of the Ozarks. Um, Truman Lake, uh, Table Rock Lake. There's lots of big lakes in the area that are more of a, less of a day trip, more of a weekend trip, but nonetheless, still part of the lifestyle that we have going on here in Kansas City. 
So lots to love about the lifestyle in Kansas City. We have super diverse, interesting, unique neighborhoods and communities. We have a great food scene that is like so much more diverse and expansive than you might anticipate. We have awesome arts and entertainment scenes. And then of course, outdoor opportunities, recreation, nature, parks, all that good stuff. So really something for everyone here in Kansas City. If you're interested in one of these particular areas, when you're looking at houses, definitely mention it. That should be part of your house hunt is I want to live in an area that is close to something that I enjoy. And I would love to help you with that. I'm Rach the Realtor. You can find me at Rach the Realtor KC all over the internet. Slide into my DMs, leave me a comment. I can't wait to connect. Until then, I'll see you next time.